Now, what I've taken here, and you may want to pause this, right, at some point just to write this down, because I, I wrote it down ahead of time. Um, and I, I've taken all the information we just kind of worked through on page one, and I've compiled it here on page two. So these are the five equations we dealt with. And these are our factored forms, so that's x squared and x plus 7. And then we've broken it down to real zeros and non-real zeros. So this had, like, 0 was a factor, right? So that was one of our zeros with a multiplicity of 2 and negative 7. On this one, remember, we had a real 0 of 4, and then we used quadratic formula to get our negative 2 plus or minus 2i. So there's, there's 3 real here. Look that it matches that 3 there. There's one real and two imaginary. Look, it matches this three right here, right? Over here, we factored it, and we got four real zeros, no imaginary, right? Notice four real zeros, which matches that four right there. On this one, we broke it down. We had these two that were real, which we listed here, two and negative two, and then we had two imaginary. On the other side, we did quadratic formula to figure that out. Oh, I, no, we did. We set this equal to zero. We did quadratic formula up here. So look, 2 real and plus or minus gives me 2 imaginary, right? Positive 2i and negative 2i for a total of 4 again. And then here we had, um, we had negative 2 with a multiplicity of 3. So there are actually 3 zeros at negative 2. We saw it on the graph, and then we see it here, right? That's a multiplicity of 3 and then a positive 1. So if you want to pause a little bit and write this down, it shouldn't take too long. It's going to be a pretty short video. We'll get through page 2. What we want to know is we want to know the number of unique zeros, and that's not without multiplicity. These zeros are equal to or less than the degree, is what we're saying. So my unique zeros here were 3, even though this one occurred twice, which is less than that degree. right? My unique zeros here are 3, which is the same as. My unique zero here is 0 and negative 7, which is less than that degree. Let's go down here. My, my unique zero here, right, is I've got 4, which is the same as. So your unique zeros, the number of zeros, not counting the multiplicity, equals or is less than the degree. And the total number of zeros always seems to be equal to the degree. So 1 and that negative 2 3 times gives me 4, which is the same as the degree, right? The 2 real here and the 2 imaginary give me 4, the same as the degree. The 4 real gives me the same as a degree. The 1 real and the 2 imaginary give me the same. So in all of these situations, we're noticing that the total number of zeros equals the degree. Right? Which is what we're going to write down here. The degree matches the number of zeros. And we're just no noticing that. We're writing that down so we can come up with kind of a schematic of how the degree is related to the number of zeros and in some way how many factors are there with, our, with the exponents on them. So... We're going to stop this one, nice short video, about three minutes long, and I'll talk to you about the next page.